المعرض السادس والخمسون للمراكب واليخوت موعد ينتظره الكثيرون من داخل ألمانيا وخارجها نمو المعرض وتطوره دفع القائمين لنقله العام المقبل إلى ميناء هامبورغ. الشركات الألمانية والأوروبية تعتبره أساسيا لنشاطها Welcome to Hansa Boat Boat Show Hello ICAS TV We started with Hansebord uh, 1961, which is 55 years ago. Uh, we are the oldest boat show in Germany and uh, it was a very successful time in the history and now it changed a little bit since 2008. Now you can see a lot of uh, visitors at the moment, around 85,000. Because we have a lot of, uh, we have uh, two holidays and we have a bridge day and we have only three euro entry. <music> 400 boats on the Hansa Boat Boat Show this year, 520 exhibitors. Uh, we have motorboats and sailboats, and especially for our, for our uh, area, for the Baltic Sea and the Northern Sea. It's, it's not important for the population, but there are lots of sailors in Hamburg, and, and especially in the nor northern region of, of, of Germany, there are lots of people addicted to water sports, so they always like to go and, and catch the atmosphere and enjoy the boats and, yeah, what's going on here? I'm just here for the pleasure just to see uh, what uh, some of the new technologies are available. So the marine show or boat show here in, in Hamburg is really important for us to get in touch with some potential customers to see what's going on on the market. We are building high quality steel motor yards uh, since 1949 and now the company is in the third generation. Concentrate on steel yards. The steel yards which we produce are being made for lifetime. So basically uh, Whatever your age will be, this boat will overlift you for sure. And Hamburg is a world city and everybody knows so where Hamburg is. I mean, talking about an American, a Canadian, Australian, they do know where Hamburg is. It's a full displacement yard, which gives you a lot of fun, comfort on all the waters, mostly on inland waters. The saloon, uh, the galley and the kitchen uh, is uh, made on one level. Uh, other than that, uh, we have the master cabin in the back side of the boat. Then we have a second master cabin in the front and even a third gas cabin with two single beds next to each other in the midship. It starts with uh, roughly 340,000 euros excluding VAT and depending what your specification is.
Yeah, we are on the Marix 310 and the boat has been awarded because it has some, some unique, some innovative, very, very clever solutions. What we did, we made this system where you have curtains and then you just pull it out here and to the side. And the top cover we have here, we just pull the lever and slide. Sliding roof closed. On board we have a D6 engine, 370 horsepower, which delivers a performance of uh, 30 knots. Cruising speed around 20 knots, and you have a consumption of around 40 liters uh, per hour. The price on the boat, you land around 270 in between. Yes, uh, this is a stand of the vocational school. All apprentice German boat builders come to our school and learn uh, theory and practice about boat building. This is a very simple boat, a very simple design. It's a sharpie, sharpie form and uh, we have developed this design together with our students. We work a lot of, uh, with wood and a lot of um, glass fiber and um, sometimes we have metal, but the most time it's wood and um, plastic. So this boat was built between 1920 and 25 uh, on a Bremen shipyard. My parents bought it from a, a member of our club at that time in 1960. And when my father died away, we decided to keep the boat in our family. So we are the second generation now on this boat. Well, it's more or less the original condition, yes because it has always been in a shed, never been under the, the sun or so. So we just had to put a new vanish on and that was all. But just with the trailer, because it's not a boat for the open sea, definitely not. It's just for rivers. And... The main focus uh, throughout the years has been that we want to build a fast boat, a trimaran that is still at the same time foldable or collapsible to fit into narrow harbors or even go on a trailer after, after a car. This position we have 3.6 meters width, but we unfold to 8.4 meters. Yeah, it's a class A boat for offshore uh, and uh, fast, we describe fast as we, we sail wind speed, typically, so we have five knots wind, five knots speed, 10 knots wind, 10 knots speed, but we top at around 23 knots. So if you have a fast car, you're, you like a fast boat, and uh, that's the kind of people that we, we like to see as, as clients. The, the price here starts around 250,000 euros plus taxes, but you will soon reach 300. There are some boat shows in the world that are a must. For instance, Cannes, Düsseldorf, Sydney boat show. Some boat shows that are a key player in the country. Hamburg is a traditional uh, sailing headquarter in Germany. Welcome Alcas TV.
I'm afraid to fall in the water, it's cold. Hello, Alcas TV. Et bien sûr, Alcas. Hamburg is the German town of shipping and let's tell me something maybe too proud, it's maybe the world of shipping in, in whole Europe. Hamburg ah, is the most beautiful city in, in Germany at least, if not in the world. It's close by the water, um, very beautiful with the two lakes. Uh, we have a very good infrastructure, there's lots of things to do, which actually makes this boat show very nice for many people who come to Hamburg because they cannot just go for the boat show. Now they are international, we have uh, uh, exhibitors from Denmark, from Holland, from Finland, from Poland and also from Sweden. We have uh, Hansa Yacht Group, uh, one of the biggest German yacht uh, factory, if you like. Uh, they have a big stand with their uh, Hanse. Today we stand here, we are the largest exhibitor, uh, second largest in the world. We have 33 products, we have six products new every year, and we are continuing to be the innovation leader of the branch. We are here on the brand new Hanse 418. Um, the boats basically uh, differentiate themselves because they have much more performance. We have higher masts, much more sail area, and the interior is completely new. We have a more light inside, we have a more luxurious interior, we have large hull windows, and the complete uh, combination of all these windows on the side, on the hull, and the 70 centimeter wind, uh, hatches on top makes the interior really, really bright. The boat costs, I would say, including all the uh, things that are on this boat now, it would be in the end somewhere around 250,000 euro. Stand-up paddling is a, it's, it's a young sport, it's a water sport, it's um, just around about 10 years that it comes to, to Germany. It's one of the easiest water sports which you can learn. Uh, everybody can make it. You can, um, even five, six year old can do it. The adults say, ah, I'm afraid to fall in the water, it's cold. So. So around about 10-50% is that adults come out of the water. Strange. I only did it because my little son said, please be brave, do it. And I did not want to say, no, I don't do it. I just did it because of my little son. <laughs> I love diving, so uh, natural without uh, any any gears. Uh, but yeah, I never did it with gear, and so long diving. Is... We are on the Hansa Boat Show in Hamburg 
and behind me there's one of our newest products, this is the Bavaria R40 Coupé. The Bavaria R40 is not made only for the north and not only made for the south or the Mediterranean, this is made for all um, waters you can go on. Price starting around 380,000 euros, and you can go, let's say, easily up to 420, 430,000 if you use some some extra equipment. Alors derrière vous, vous avez d'abord un kayak pliant, quelque chose que l'on peut mettre dans un sac et avec lequel on peut monter une voile, une voile qui va nous permettre d'utiliser le vent. Alors ça, c'est tout simplement le kayak, le kayak qui se trouve dedans. La petite voile sera mise sur un côté. Alors pour le transport, eh c'est très simple. On le met sur le sac à dos. Et puis alors, si vous, si vous êtes intéressé, eh bien, vous prendrez le nom et vous mettrez derrière .de. You find everyone here. It's a great opportunity to find new merchants from all around the world. So from Germany, uh, Norway, Italy, Spain. So it's a great uh, chance. We're sad that the Hansa boat is now over. This boat is built in Warsaw, it's in Poland. Welcome Alcast TV. Welcome Alcast viewers. Well, just a personal thing, when I remember I was a kid, four years old, my parents brought me here and they did it every year. And it's a shame that they will stop. This is, will be the last Hansebode. But I think something will happen here in Hamburg next year. Yeah, it's, it's, it's sad that this is the last edition of Hansebode uh, Boat Show. But uh, in Germany it's a really big market and we're sad that the Hansebode is now over. We will develop uh, the Ancora Boat Show, uh, but it's not enough space to do a big one. Um, but it's very interesting for, for, the, for the visitors and for the area. But we want to develop a big one in Hamburg, in the harbor. That's the idea, uh, beginning in 2019. We'll be in Hamburg, uh, in, in Hamburg Harbor, and uh, we, we, we want to develop a, a boat show with bigger boats with boats uh, up to 30 meters, if we, if there's enough space to do it, and for also for catamarans, and we do, we'll do a festival in combination of uh, maybe music or something. That's the idea, to do it in 2019. This show is a good opportunity for me to get into the marine market and to uh, meet a lot of producers at this show. I'm coming from Hamburg, I live here, and uh, I like the sports uh, on water. Yes, we are uh, trying to contact the um, Andra here, so all the merchants, the boats merchants, to try to develop a business with them. So, so for business, actually. buy a boat, you're getting a fly to Warsaw and um, 
you can choose all your woods like as you wish even uh, every upholstery color as you wish every boat's color as you wish One cabin downstairs and it's really big. I guess it's the biggest cabin in its class by 33 feet foot uh, ships. And actually you can sleep with two persons outside here. The price of the boat we're standing on right now, the list price is 318,000. It's including the Volvo joystick system, rather a lot of TVs and a lot of, lot of uh, different things. The Safir 33 day sailor. It's not a boat for long cruises. It's a boat for a relaxed afternoon on the on the water. A lot of fun, a lot of performance, but very easy handling and very easy sailing. She's ten and a half meter long, 270 uh, wide. So it's a boat that is easy to handle by yourself, even though the cockpit is huge, so you can take eight guests if you like, but you don't need a crew to maneuver the boat. So it's not a racing boat, but you can have a lot of fun if you like fast boats, but still you can just take your family and handle the boat all by yourself. This 33 fully spec, like you see her here, would be about 230,000 euros, including German tax. We have many visitors here on board because this is the biggest boat of the show, the most expensive boat of the show. We call this boat the 4x4 of the sea because it's the first thing in building this boat is seaworthiness and safety. These boats are built for high seas, for bad weather and safety on board. Yeah, we have uh, in this boat uh, cost uh, 940,000 euros including VAD. Uh, this is a, a traditional show. It's, uh, as you probably heard, it's the last time the show will, will be here in Hamburg. Um, but it's the oldest show in, in Germany. 